Hi, Matt Balak here from VidiSEO.com. YouTube recently started testing their latest interface design, codenamed Cosmic Panda. Why is it called Cosmic Panda? Beats the shit out of me. But what do you say we go check it out? To the internet and beyond! All right, so here we are at youtube.com slash cosmic panda uh, if you'd like to go and follow along or try out the new interface for yourself. So let's go ahead and try it out. Whoa. Are we still on YouTube or did we just go to Hulu? Look at this. Uh, first thing first, the video is now sitting at a total gray bar. Also, I want to look at this header up here. Look at that. Got a little gradient, got a little texture going on. Looks clean, looks crisp, like a Granny Smith apple. You got your username up here with your icon, beautiful. Click it, look at that, drops down, shows your playlists, and then all your uh, options here for channels, videos, blah, blah, blah. But back to the watch page. Uh, you have your video sitting here. Uh, any advertising, if it's there, it's gonna be here to the right. Uh, you know, kind of interesting. First thing I noticed, where's the video title? Normally it sits right above the video, so it's the first thing you see. Now it's the video that's the first thing you see. The title is now below, right down here. It certainly puts the focus back on the video. There's really nothing, you just go straight from the header to the video. You don't even have the channel name or anything like before where you have your you know, channel number videos or anything like that. You just have this little, area down here where you have your username, your picture, and this little plus button, which is now the new subscribe button. Also don't know how I feel about this. It doesn't even say the word subscribe. Do people know what a plus in a circle means? Ah, I don't know. You have your comments, suggested videos, we'll get back to that. Another new little feature here is video size. Check this out. So I can click this here and I'll be damned, I changed the size of the video itself. I want to go all the way to this right one because I think this is actually kind of neat. Click it up, and now I just have the header and all that information below, like the channel, the subscribe button, and of course your video options, size options down here too. That's kind of neat. Uh, it also pushes the advertising completely off the screen, which is uh, it's not bad either. So I'm going to go back to the small size here, and let's continue going down. So not a whole lot, like I said, the title's down here now. You have the additional you know, description for your video, which you can still expand to show more or you know, show less. You have related videos and playlists here on the right-hand side. And then you have your comments below as usual. Uh, another nice little change here is that they actually put your, your profile picture or your avatar next to your actual comments. I think this is kind of cool. I'm not sure why they didn't do this sooner. I think it makes it really easy to see, you know, when the video uploader is commenting too. Like you can see my little video SEO logo here, and they're also nested uh, comments, which they actually didn't do. Uh, well, I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I don't think they did it like this before. Uh, so I think it actually looks pretty slick. Another thing is on the the right-hand rail, the um, the thumbnail I think is a lot more prominent. It's got almost a like a widescreen look to it, and I kind of like it. Uh, so back here we have suggested videos. I can click that. I've got a nice little uh, slide animation, and I see some suggested videos, and it goes ahead and suggests a playlist. So I say we go ahead and take a look at playlists and what that what that looks like. So here we are at a playlist. This is a playlist I put together for my time at VidCon this year in 2011. Uh, so I have a total of six different videos in, in one playlist. So it looks a lot like the video watch page once you click on it, except underneath here you have all of the videos in the playlist, of course. So you can hover over them and see the title or you know, knock them out of the rotation. Because as soon as this first video finishes, it goes right on to the next, and so on and so on and so on. Which I think is pretty neat. Another big change here, though, is underneath in a playlist, this is not the video title, this is actually the title of the playlist. And this is the description of the playlist. 
kind of a big deal because you want to make sure your playlists have optimized titles and descriptions because I think they're way more prominently featured than they were previously. The title and description of your video, or at least of the currently playing video, is bumped over here to the right hand side. Uh, so I can actually go and show more and see what I got for my description there. Other than that, I mean, it looks, it's pretty much exactly the same as your normal video watch page. But you just have those same options to go through the videos uh, in line in the playlist itself. I'm not quite sure, but you can actually, oh, this is neat. You can actually control the order of the playlist as you're going through. So I can drag and drop videos. So like, oh, I don't really want to find my product, move that down. Kind of want making brand friendly videos here and then hit play and maybe go back to this little full screen mode and just, you know, get her done. So here we are at the new YouTube channel layout. Uh, as you'll see, you have the title of your channel. Mine happens to be Video SEO and Marketing. You have three buttons down here for Featured, uh, just all videos, and Community. And then you have all of your stats, like your total videos, number of subscribers, and total video views, and a much more prominent search bar, which I think is pretty sweet. Uh, now, from an editing standpoint, you have Template, Branding, and Settings and Info. Uh, this is the biggest change, I think, to channels on the new YouTube interface, is that you have the option to change your channel template. The options you're given are Creator, Blogger, Network, and Everything. I'm currently using the Creator one, which shows a featured video, and then some featured playlists. Uh, and then again, you can click on the playlist itself, it shows you the number of videos, and you'll go back into that playlist view. You have your channel information on the right, and then some ability to add additional channels uh, down here as well. Next is the blogger template. Uh, this is for people that are running, I would say, more of a vlog. Uh, and this just gives you a reverse chronological order uh, of all the videos that you've uploaded. So if I switch to that, you can see I have just the fat ass thumbnails of all the videos that I've made from latest to oldest. And then I have my playlist now on the right. And then I have my other channels here right below that. Next option is for networks. This still has your featured video, but allows you to just add other channels here. So for example, if you're HBO and you have separate channels for other shows, uh, you can just have a featured video up here and then list all the other channels that you manage. So perfect for those that are running somewhat of a YouTube network of channels, thus the name. Or you can switch it to what's called everything, which is kind of like a hodgepodge of all the other templates that they have. So you have your featured video, I have featured playlists, I got channels, I got channels here too if I just want a ton of channels. And again, you have all of your kind of about information here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel all this just to show you the other options. Uh, next up on the editing front is branding. Um, so you click on that. This is now where you can change your avatar or profile picture. Before this was buried in your kind of account settings. It was not part of the channel editing process before. So I think this is an awesome move. It makes a lot more sense to change your, your profile or avatar here. But when it comes to the actual channel editing options, it's looking pretty bare. Uh, to be honest, you can change a background color. You can upload a background image. Uh, and set you know whether you want it to repeat horizontal horizontally or vertically whatever but that's really it um, I think a lot of people are gonna be pissed here because there's no let's say transparency options if you want to make some of this area down here a little more transparent to show your background and also there's really no options for partners uh, whereas before you had a ability to add a banner to the top of your channel or some additional branding spaces like uh, a branding box and none of those are here yet so I'm hoping that they I don't know if they're going to come later on or, or not but right now from a branding standpoint it's pretty sparse and I can imagine there's gonna be a lot of people that are pissed about that but for right now them's the berries I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out that and then last you have your settings and info. Uh, this is where you can change the title of your channel, the description and tags for your channel, 
And I think some of these options here I have because I am a YouTube partner, so I can add an analytics account ID or uh, some of this other information here. I'm not sure what's available uh, for those that aren't partners, but um, kind of a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out on that. So regardless of your template decision, uh, this gray bar, again, YouTube's all about the gray bars, uh, is going to remain uh, persistent. So you have your featured videos, you have just videos, which is the kind of all you can eat, everything that you've uploaded or put in a playlist, and then you have the community. Uh, and, and this replaces kind of the bulletins and I would say channel comments as well. So I have a list here of people that have commented on my channel, so people can come in here and enter a message. Uh, you know, like, you're my man, guy. Thank you. You're my man, too. Um, it also has my activity feed in here, too. So it says I commented on this video, or I commented on this video, and so on and so forth. It's kind of like YouTube's answer to Twitter, if you will. And then this is also where you can get the list of all your subscribers. So for me, on the right-hand side, this is my list of what I would consider great people. So many cool features. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the new interface? Leave it in the comments below. Heh. <laughs>